Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to start adding the backbone for mod the moderation process. Just to kind of go over the general approach is I want to split the process of moderation from the current logic. So there isn't going to be any tight coupling. The moderation is sort of just going to have a pointer towards whatever th is, is being moderated. And I want that process to generally be separate it from categories, tricks, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see how this sort of thing can get implemented. Okay, into our models, what we're going to do is we're first going to go ahead and create a directory. Uh, let's go ahead and call this moderation. Okay, and in moderation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class and this is going to be a moderation item. Okay, and a moderation item because moderation is the process of determining if something's good, bad, or whatever, or the value of something. Or I think, yeah, it's more, it's more of a ju judging process, right? Moderation item is something on which we impose the moderation, okay? Moderation item. Let's go ahead and add a base model of integer, okay? So it, it will just have an, an ID. Right, of integer, right? No, no, nothing too crazy here. Next thing for the prop, we're gonna have a target. Let's go ahead, copy this, and we're gonna have a type. Right, so kind of like your object references when you create objects in C sharp, and uh, uh, th what, what, what's actually happening is that it's some kind of memory that's allocated in the heap, and your object is just kind of like a pointer to that memory, and it's like, yo, uh, this thing is actually over there, and uh, this is what it is, right? So that's what we're doing. We're just kind of pointing. Uh, that's that's what it should be. And uh, I mean, that's where it is. And uh, that's what it should be, okay? In terms of that's what it should be, what I want to do as well is maintain a sort of a list of what kind of things can we moderate. So uh, let's go ahead and create a class in here and we'll call it moderation types. And let's call actually make it a struct and in here, what we're going to do is we are going to create a couple of public constant strings and these are just things that could be moderated and uh, I'm gonna assign a trick to it, okay? So this is just a way to identify what it is that we're moderating, okay? So as far as the container for the item that we're moderating goes, this is okay and moderation type, this will be slowly filling up as we're gonna be adding moderation functionality for category difficulties, maybe submissions and et cetera. Maybe if there's gonna be more, we don't wanna go cra too much crazy, too, too crazy on the moderation. Like there is some moderation for YouTube, but you know, it's YouTube, they let everybody upload videos, Facebook does. And I mean, there's some horrible stuff out there, but come on, how, how bad can it be, right? Um, well, maybe we'll find out, but anyway. Uh, for the video, uh, let's go ahead and change for the video. Let's let's add a DB set, right? So we want a table to be available for our moderation items. Let's go ahead and add a moderation item into here. And we'll have our moderation items in a table, okay? So once this is here, let's go ahead and add a controller. So we're gonna have a class. Item controller moderation item controller. I'm going to open a difficulty controller and let's actually just copy the, what's it called? Attributes and the base class. We will import everything. And just make sure that we got the URL with the moderation items. Okay. So uh, the other thing that we can do is let's actually grab around yay much. Okay. Yay much. That's a, our unit of measurement where basically we're just grabbing the constructor and the app db context and then we just want to grab a list of things and we want to grab the individual thing all right so from here let's go ahead and just uh, get our moderation items and we're just going to return a list of moderation items and we're going to do the same thing here moderation item here uh, the id is integer if we remember correctly so the string comparison doesn't need to happen anymore. Okay, we can re uh, we can leave the equals there if you feel more comfortable with the equals equals. Put that there. Uh, I am not that fussed. Okay, 
So we got our container, we got our controller where we're sort of going to be displaying this stuff from. Let's go ahead and actually create a trick, right? So you can see how this stuff here has been actually quite useful to have and not having to recreate data every time we reload. We want to basically keep following this and have a checkpoint for what we're trying to implement. So uh, let's go ahead and add another trick. And this is going to be a forwards roll, right? Forwards. This is a test forwards roll. Okay. Uh, there is going to be, I think categories are fine. Difficulty easy. Yeah. Uh, no relationships. Okay, cool. So that's the trick. Uh, nothing too complicated. Uh, let's go ahead and in here for the contexts, we're going to grab, actually, we don't need that. We can just add new moderation item. And in here, just like, you know, just like the creator intended for the target, we're going to specify an ID of a forwards role. Okay. Like that, it's probably worth taking these out into their own variables because of how we're interchanging IDs and stuff like that. But um, again, I don't think the time for that is justified. Let's go ahead and put the moderation type on here. And there we go. We're ready to rock and roll, right? We, we should have our moderation item on the back end to basically grab. Now we want to go to the front end and display that stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and close all of this. Uh, the models as well. We're going to go into the web client. Uh, let's open this up, refresh, make sure, you know, it works. It works. Uh, this configuration, let's go ahead and remove this. So I'm going to bring up the index page. And where we have the config here in the div, let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is we want to add the place for where moderation is going to happen. So let's go ahead and add a directory in here and moderation, right? So in here, we're going to have a, a view component. Let's go ahead and call it index.view. So if we want to land on moderation, this is how we reach this page. So hello, moderation. Let's go ahead, save this. Uh, let's put a button so we can reach it. So we're going to go to the default component. We're going to put the V button here and Let's call it moderation two, and uh, we don't need to bind anything here. Actually, we can just go to moderation. Okay. So now we should have a button. Uh, let's actually make it depressed. I don't like that it's popping out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So hello moderation, right? So this is how we reach that page. Awesome. So on this page, again, we're not going to do anything too crazy. Let's go ahead and just get a function in here for the data where we are going to have our items. Okay. And this is going to be an empty array to start with. And all I want to do is let's have an async fetch. And uh, we are just going to grab everything that we can from the controller and put it on this page. Okay. Nothing too complicated. We're, we're just trying to get up and running. And then as we're kind of uh, running along, making all the all the features, then we kind of look back. It's like, oh, I mean, maybe we made a mess, maybe we didn't. Uh, we will then clean up. So we'll, we'll see how how this goes. Uh, let's go ahead and just call a get on the API and moderation items and moderation items. Cool. So that's there. Let's not forget to await on this and then instead of here, because I want to be able to navigate to these things, uh, it's probably, um, we, I just realized we don't really have any descriptive, what's it called? Uh, um, identification of what moderation item this is for. So if it's trick name, we only have its ID, but again, this is something that we could probably sort out later. All right. So let's go ahead, get the I in here in items. We will display I target just for now. And now what we want to do is let's get a key in here actually. And we'll just do IID. 
uh, yeah, IID. I think that that will do. And for the route, so these are bu these buttons. They're gonna navigate us to uh, what's it called? Uh, our actual moderator moderation items. Uh, remember that we had a where is it in the moderation item? We had a type and we had a target, right? So when we navigate to this page, we want to know what it is and where it is. Okay. So type is what it is. Target is where it is. Okay. So on this index page, we are still going to go towards moderation. But now what we're going to do is we're going to have two more, right? So I type and I target and that's it. So now let's go ahead and create a page for this. So, you know, we can display this stuff. Uh, all right, let's add a directory. This is going to be underscore type. So this is how we can have the route parameter kind of nested. So it's going to be essentially two parameters, right? You can see we have the type and the ID. So let's go ahead and have another view component here. And this time we're going to call it underscore ID. And again, underscore, every time we put underscore, we're basically saying we are going to have a parameter in here. And in this episode, because I mean, it's probably a bit of a played out tune for me to kind of go over how to inspect your component route, what route you're currently at. You should be able to kind of already understand how to do this. Put console logs, see what you got, use the view router dev tools, see what state you have. If you're ever confused, stop, investigate, step through line by line, try to understand what your, what your code does. Okay. So in here, uh, let's actually remove these names for these pages on the index page. We remove that. Let's go ahead, scrap this here and data. Let's go ahead, put this here. We're just going to have the item. She's going to start off null and just uh, again, async fetch, super simple. We just want to extract the data that we passed in. So in here, let's go ahead and extract type and ID. And we're going to extract this from route params, right? Nothing to complicate it. Simple JavaScript deconstruction. What we want to do now is we want to grab this type and we want to know which endpoint we're going to point to because trick is, isn't exactly pointing to tricks and category has a different, you know, ending category categories. We want some kind of a function to be able to resolve the endpoint that we're going to be going to. So let's go ahead and create the function here. So const endpoint resolver, right? And let's go ahead. This can just be a simple Lambda. We don't need to put this function into methods here. This can just be a simple thing here. And if it ever, if we ever come to a point where we need to reuse this function, it will be a little, well, I think, I don't know how easy it will be to take it out, how hard it is compared to the method one, but it's basically it's separate from the component kind of thing, but it's only used here. So once it's going to be used somewhere else, we're going to take it out. And it's already ready to go kind of thing. You know, it's packed. It's got its bags packed. It's already left its house. It's said bye to mom and dad, you know, and it's ready to go to the big world of shared dependencies and stuff. Okay. So uh, let's see what types we got uh, in here. We're just going to pass the type. We're going to check if the type equals trick. We're just going to return tricks as the endpoint. Okay. That's it. Nothing more is needed. Let's go ahead and produce the endpoint. So endpoint resolver, put the type in here, remove the semicolons. We are in JavaScript land. And now let's go ahead and grab the item, right? Nothing again, nothing too complicated. Uh, we will need backticks here because we're going to be supplying our parameters. So we're going to the API. We're going to a specific endpoint and we're grabbing a specific ID, right? So again, because this is sort of a container, we jump on a page and then we want to whatever the container contains, we want to grab it. And as you can see, what this item can be a trick category, a difficulty, whatever we're trying to moderate. You can imagine that we will need a separate component for each one of them. And 
uh, kind of maybe how we have separate components here or maybe a little bit closer to how we have these components what we might do and this is something that i'm going to give some extra thought to is basically see it, can we reuse this component in our moderation item so what we'll essentially end up with is when we are displaying category difficulty or trick information each of those will have their individual component that they always get rendered into no matter where they are and that's just gonna give us like advantage of uh, being able to put that component anywhere okay um, but for now this is just we're just checking if this works right so let's go ahead and wait here and we're gonna have a div here let's go ahead and inspect the trick what do we have here we can grab the description so let's go ahead and just display the description of the item okay and going here going to the forwards roll error occurs this is probably a description of null right so what's <laughs> it doesn't exist yet kind of thing so uh, let's go ahead and check if the item all right give this a good refresh and this is a test for forward roll right now the future works will include stuff like comments approvals maybe blockages like uh, so or like request for review kind of thing so if you are uh, familiar with uh, how devops flows work so sometimes when you submit a pull request uh, some people might approve and one senior engineer will go hold up this is going to break everything and then he basically makes sure that we review this a little bit closer before we merge or release anything right so maybe there is some fundamental history that's going to be broken if we change a name or an alias or add an alias or something like that because this trick already has this alias if you don't know about it and you're trying to add it here it's going to be some you know extra collision with the we don't want i mean this trick names i mean this is not a serious this is kind of a meme that we have moderation for this uh, here but you know that's it's, it's a learning exercise it's all, all all in good fun but anyway uh this will be it for this episode thanks for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments section make sure to join my discord server and i also stream on wednesdays and sundays come say hi and I'll see you in my other episodes.